Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Independent Communications Authority of South Africa has given stakeholders until October 7 to comment on a roadmap aimed to promote investments, enable a vibrant and competitive telecommunications industry, and ensure universal broadband access. Senior online writer Natasha Odendal joins me in studio to tell us more. Hi, Natasha. Hi. What does the draft international mobile telephony roadmap entail, and what does it aim to do? Well, in South Africa, mobile broadband demand is growing, um, but there isn't enough bandwidth capacity or enough coverage um, to meet the growing needs of South Africans, um, particularly in rural areas where they need it the most. So, in line with this, CCAS has, has determined that perhaps lower frequencies might help mitigate this, and in line with their frequency migration plan, they've tabled a whole range of ways to possibly deploy frequencies that would match the IMT. This is in line with the ITU, which had actually identified various bands that um, con or countries could follow that would allow mobile broadband or the operation of mobile broadband. ICASA particularly pointed to the frequency bands surrounding the 700 megahertz and the 800 megahertz, as well as potentially the 450 megahertz to, s to 470 megahertz ranges as ideal for um, the, their ambitions of mobile broadband. And they are now asking for comment um, for the industry to input their ideas and their views and see where they can go from there. Now, the Telecommunications and Postal Services Department is also aiming to accelerate the National Broadband Plan. Um, what is Minister Dr. Siabonga Kwele's reasoning behind this, and what is he aimed to do? Well, universal broadband access is seen as a critical enabler for the digital revolution that is happening, and particularly for South Africa as a sort of lifesaver for the triple you know, uh, challenges of poverty, inequality and unemployment. I mean, there's, there's obviously been a lot of studies done on what broadband penetration can do for South Africa and for all other developing countries. So in line with this, the Minister has promised to accelerate the long-awaited SA Connect, which is our very own national broadband plan. And I mean, it's, it's pretty ambitious. It, it talks to what they want to achieve by 2015, 2020, and have 100% access or penetration of I think 10 megabits a second by 2030 even, which would go a long way in actually enabling South Africa to fulfill some economic ambitions as well. But it's been lagging so long and there's been a lot of promises made, but time will actually tell on whether we can actually get the implementation off the ground. And ACASA has also adopted a new model to determine the call termination rates. When do they expect to roll this out? Well, ICASA has determined that the long-run incremental cost, or the LRIC+, plus, might actually be a better bet for them in the long run to adopt uh, for the mobile termination rates. Um, and this comes after, obviously, six months of reviewing um, their, their policies, uh, their regulations surrounding the mobile termination rates, so ever since you know, some of the companies had objected to it and actually took ICASA to court. Um, the review is set to end by the end of September, so hopefully by October we will actually know where we stand with the, the, with the MTRs, um, because I think it's a long-awaited thing for industry. In the interim, ICASA thought that it would adopt this new cost structure, as it would enable the recovery of joint and common costs, in addition to the direct and direct variable costs that the companies are able to charge at the moment. Um, the previous um, MTR rates or the glide paths, the 2010 glide paths, actually separated fixed costs, uh, uh, fixed line and mobile termination costs or their cost structure. And now ICASA actually wanted to correct this imbalance and put them both on the same path. Thanks, Natasha. Mm. That is the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.